Good evening, we're joined here on Brighouse Town TV with Vil Powell. Leaving it late again, Vil. Uh, mixed emotions. Because we're the better team. Should have won the game. Should have won the game comfortably. Honestly, yeah, they've had a couple of chances uh, against someone to play, but you know, if they'd have won the game, you know, it'd have been another one where we'd have, you know, dropped three points. Um, and in the end, in my opinion, we've dropped two. And you know, this season, uh, you know, I've got an inexperienced team, um, a good team. Um, they're all, you know, resilient with a great attitude. But today, uh, it's just frustrating that we haven't, you know. Uh, Done everything required to, to win the football match, and by that I mean, so we, you know we've dominated the first half. Um, for, for you know we should have scored. Uh, you know keepers pulled off some worldies. Great play. You know they hardly they only got in our box I think twice uh, in the um, in the first half, and and that was for the goal. Uh, no, one was for the goal, and one one was for a, a, a shot that didn't trouble Brett. Um, and I, I look at the goal, and I think well, you know. We switched off, new, new, new wide players switched off first on the rebound for the post. We've not closed uh, the initial shot down, and the ball's come in the box, and it's a free header from the from the eight with with Misenarov's not picking up, and he's taking responsibility that for that. But that's disappointing. Um, we go in one nil, one nil down. Ask for a response. We we'll come out second half. It's tit for tat really. Second half. Um, obviously, they're just protecting their lead. Then, you know, they're just digging in and, and, and protecting their lead, trying to turn us. Um, obviously, we're, we're, we're causing them a lot of problems, putting them on a lot of pressure without um, really uh, being clinical. Because uh, I think if we, again, it's one of them situations you score earlier in the game, you, 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 you fancy yourselves to go on and win it. But that's the frustrating thing at the minute because you know we're, it's the little things. Um, and it is the little details uh, because we, we're playing well. We played well today because uh, I've got no fault for the players for that, no fault for the work rate. But we just got to be clinical. And if we're not going to be clinical, then we've got to keep clean sheets. Uh, and that—that's the issue at the minute. Is keeping clean sheets. So I've said that to them in there. You know, we've got to go back to a little bit of basics in terms of you keep clean sheets, and then you'll get always get something. Or we will win the game because you know we're always capable of scoring goals. So. However, we're keeping, not keeping clean sheets. It's a difficult one, and that's what uh, um, ultimately cost us two points. But in the end, we've, we've done, done it late, and we've, we've uh, sorry, we've done it late, and we've, we've got a point out of the game. So from the position, you've got to be pleased. But I am highly frustrated. So Tom Haig come off as your first substitute um, with ice held to his head. Is the, did you know any any details on that, or is it too um, early to say? Or um, yeah, he's obviously he's took he took a whack in the head. I think it was a knee in the face. Um, I think. He, he, it should be all right. We'll see how it, you know, it's swollen now. So next few days it'll be, it'll be swollen up. We'll see where he are, where he's for the weekend. Um, but hopefully we should have we should have James Early back for them as well. So so that should be good. But yeah, I, I think he's okay. But his, his eyes obviously freshly swollen uh, as it is now. Is there any update on any other players that aren't currently playing? I'd, I'd assume Danny Racky's out for quite a long time. Uh, he's still a couple of weeks out, but yeah. he's, 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 he's certainly ahead of where we thought he'd be, so that's good. Um, and, and hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll see him again before Christmas. Uh, another solid performance from Aidan Walker today. Yeah, I say? mean, it, it, you know, there were bits and pieces. He's still rusty, you know, he's been yeah. out for three months. Um, so he is still rusty. I mean, you know, it was his man for, for, for the goal, to be honest. Um, and he just needs to sort of get a, a run of games and, and, and get his you know, confidence back and get that aggression back that we saw in pre-season. And, and he'll be fine. We, we know he's a good player. Um, you know, that was there. You know, obviously they've had, they've had one in the second half against one of the other players, I've said. But overall, you know, the, the, it's resulted in three three opportunities at, at our goal in, in, in 90 minutes. and. So he's, he's done well, you know. Defence done okay in that result, in that respect, to to limit them to that, and he's been part of that. So, yeah, he's fiddling nicely. Um, still, still nowhere near the levels that he's he's capable of, um, but he's on he's on that he's on that road. Good, thank you, Vil Powell. Speaking after the one-one draw at Lincoln United. Brilliant, thank you.